As days are getting longer and warmer, we go into protection mode for our skin against damaging UV rays. We know that here in Arizona, but our eyes can also suffer from overexposure both outdoors and inside. The good news is though protecting them from both has never been more stylish. Lifestyle and fashion television contributor Sarah Bernard is here to shed some light on both. No pun intended, right, Sarah? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about that protecting our eyes. Now, why is it? Why is it so important? What are we, you know, kind of protecting from both actually inside and outside? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people don't realize you can actually sunburn your eyes themselves, and that can cause all sorts of long-term and short-term damage. But indoors, as you mentioned, we have other problems to contend with, and that's really because of our technology-focused lifestyles. We're either on our laptops or um, watching TV or on our phones for, on average, eight and a half hours a day, which means that potentially harmful blue light can penetrate into our eyes, cause cataracts, cause macular degeneration. Uh, even mess with our sleeping habits because it it imbalances the melatonin level. So there's a lot of issues to contend with. Well, I know you're going to help us regardless of what we're dealing with. And here in Arizona, we don't go anywhere without our sunglasses. So let's start with <laughs> summer and what you got Good for, for us. you. Right. <laughs> so you're ahead of the game. That's right. I think, you know, the trend used to be that you would have, let's say, one pair of really expensive designer sunglasses and you would just try not to lose them. And hopefully they would be in your bag when you needed them, but maybe not. And that's not how it works anymore. So the trend of the moment is to have more like a sunglasses wardrobe, something that th a whole bunch of options that are accessible and affordable and can really be where you need them to be, i.e. everywhere. So I've got a bunch of options to show you here that are all on the affordable accessible um, spectrum these are foster grants and what I love about these are the oversized hippie bohemian uh, round shapes I think that's really my pick for the summer trend I love aviators of all kinds so everything here with some exceptions are $30 and under these are item eight so they are $60 and under they're more elevated line of designer frames that are really hitting on all of the kind of music festival uh, trends of the moment. The colored frames and that dusty pink are really what's hot right now. Also the mirrored sh the mirrored lenses. I think I'm gonna definitely incorporate some of these <laughs> into my summer wardrobe. But you know, if that's not exactly right for you, we've got so many other options out there and options and choice are really the key. So if you're the kind of person that wears optical lenses and you want some protection over that, solar shields are great. They are sleek, they're durable, they're the kind of things that are scratch resistant so you can just keep a pair in your car maybe keep one on your bike keep one in your handbag so basically the point is they're just always around so you're never without sunglasses when you need them well and also I'm kind of also seeing that readers are not just something that you kind of get later in life they're actually taking on a life of their own also right yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think pe readers used to be something that people thought of as, oh, that's just something for older people, for my grandma or grandpa. And part of the reason was there just weren't that many stylish options. There weren't that many choices, but that's definitely not the case now. I have some great options here. I think this one on top is probably my favorite style, but it's not exactly what I would have thought of as like, oh, that's the reader option, right? So you can really reflect your personality the same way you would with your sunglasses. We've got multi-focus options. We've got magnification options. You can really Really find something to suit yourself. And here's another thing that I think we really all need to start thinking about adding um, to our collections. Foster Grant's eyes and glasses, this is really focused on the digital um, viewing experience. So if you put them on while let's say you're reading a book on screen, you'll be protected. You can definitely go to fostergrant.com to find out more information about all of this and start building your sunglasses and eyeglasses wardrobe. Well, Sarah, I got to let you go because I got to go online and get all of my sunglasses for the summertime. But thank <laughs> you so much for stopping in. Thanks, Tina. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend. We'll be right back.